everyone, I'm Kelsey, and today I am here with someone super, super special. Who am I here with today? You are with Brian Warner. I'm an inspector here at the fire department. Well, Brian, I'm super happy that I have you here today because you are going to teach us something that I think might be new, not only to me, but everyone watching at home. It's talking about fire prevention, right? Correct. Perfect. I think you have a lot of good tips that are going to help us stay safe in the kitchen because this is a big deal for us, right? Absolutely. It's the number one uh, cause of house fires. So we really want to be cautious in the kitchen and you're going to teach us those tips today. Absolutely. All right. So what are some of the things we need to know when we are in the kitchen? We're in a kitchen right now. So what are some of the things you're going to show us to okay. help us? So number one thing is, is when you're cooking, you should have a clear countertop. We okay. have oil here, which shouldn't be this close to the stove, right? Because it's flammable. Oh, so you moved it way back. Yes, yeah, so you should have 36 inches of clearance on each side of your stove. We have cooking mitts, which are flammable at a certain point. Okay. We have paper towels, which are extremely flammable. Yes. So those need to get moved. Oh, way back again, way okay. Back. So <clears throat> when we have our pot on the stove and we have cooking oil in it, we mm -hmm. don't want to leave the kitchen area, right? Oil is very flammable. At a certain temperature, it's going to heat up and start on fire, yeah. all right? Create smoke. So if that does happen, number one, you should never leave the kitchen while you're cooking. Let's okay. stress that multiple times. Never leave the kitchen while you're cooking. When we have our stove on, we don't want to leave a pot alone with it, all right? We have yes. an open flame, we have oil in here. If this was to catch on fire, you simply shut the burner off, take your mitt and your pot and cover it and let it smother it out. Oh. Okay, because oxygen will continue to keep it burning. Okay, so you just put a lid? Put a lid on it. Perfect, and then of course, we wanna make sure we have something yes, covering our some hands. Yes, protection, right? Okay. it will burn too. So then as it's cooling, you can slide it back off of that burner and everything will be okay. But never, never, never leave the kitchen while you're cooking. It's the number one cause of house fires. Um, basically, those are the, the major ones, you know. Keeping a clean countertop is huge because if you panic and you don't quite get the lid on this right and grease splashes or the kids are running through and they knock it off, well, this way it's only one on the countertop. If there's flammable stuff, combustibles here, wood spoons, all of that stuff, stuff that can burn, yeah. it's gonna create that fire to spread quicker and then you're gonna panic more. You should also always know where your fire extinguisher is at, but you don't necessarily wanna use a fire extinguisher on a boiling pot of grease. Yes. Because it's gonna spray it out, right? So that's why covering your pot is the number one way to put that out. Is there anything that we can wear to help us prevent any fire, anything coming on to us, or anything happening when we're cooking? Absolutely. So like what you're wearing, what I'm wearing would be good. It's okay. not baggy, it's not hanging down, it's oh. not the possibility of catching fire as you're reaching over right. the stove, right? Yeah, moving your arm or anything Absolutely. like that across. So you know, you don't want to cook in your bathrobe, you don't want to, you know, your whatever dangly clothing you have, right? Yeah. For Saturday night going out, you want to just calm, cool, nice and easy clothing. The other things we should talk about why we're in the kitchen is making sure your pot handles are not out like this so that if the kids come by they don't knock it and oh, burn right because you have scalding I never even thought about that so always either push them to the side and to the Sorry. back a little bit you also don't want to put them over top of the other burner so that if you grab it and it's hot that you burn yourself and then create more problems here as you see we have a shelf here but we have non-combustible uh, materials above it mm -hmm. and up here typically in your house you might have a cabinet here yeah i have one and right here so what you don't want to do is put sweets in there or stuff that kids are going to want to climb up and get and get burned okay okay so a little common sense goes a long way and then also why we're talking about stoves if you have a fire in your oven okay you can yeah. just simply leave the door closed turn off the burner and it'll, it's contained. Call the fire department, call 911, we will come out and check it. But it's a simple way to, again, it's just like putting the lid on the pot. Okay, Okay. so we don't wanna open it up, see how it, it's doing, anything gonna give like it that. oxygen. Okay. okay, so just keep it shut just like the lid. Perfect. Absolutely, it's contained. Again, any fire in your house, no matter how small or how large, dial 911. We will come check it. We have cameras that we can actually see through the walls and the cabinets to oh, make wow. sure that there is no fire in behind them. That's really cool. So making sure not only, just making sure everyone's safe in the house, right? Absolutely, because you don't want a fire burning up in behind here and then rekindling later or continuing to burn. So we can come out and check it. I didn't even know that was an option. Yes. I feel like we're all learning something <laughs> Absolutely. today. Absolutely, that's why we're here. 
That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing all these tips with You're us. You're welcome. Okay, so in closing, we've gone over kitchen fires and that they're the number one cause of house fires. If you do have a fire and you can't contain it by simply putting the lid on the pot or keeping the oven door closed, don't be afraid to dial 911. We will come out and make sure it's out. If you do have a fire, dial 911 from a safe location, exit the house, practice your escape plans so that you know where you're going and have your meeting spot outside so that you can account for everybody if there is a fire in your house. Mm -hmm.